So what's with the Royal Academy then, Patrick? Um, well, it's a gallery. It's an old, old establishment place in London. I used to think it was full of um, men with long whiskers and tweed coats who smoke pipes. <laughs> what do they say to each other? Like? They say, hmm, exemplary blast strokes on that canvas. Hmm, what about a sherry in my club? It's almost lunchtime. <laughs> so why are we going then? Do you want some of this? Um, uh, well, times have changed. Now it's full of younger people wearing poo, polo neck jumpers and carrying portable telephones. They may even ride bicycles. <laughs> so what do they talk about now? They say, we wish to address the working fingerprints of the artist left in the pursuit of curiosity. Sounds like complete bullshit. Well, it is bullshit, it's, um, but it's, I mean, art curators always talk like that. It's a kind of private language, and they're, um, they're having an exhibition. So that's why we've got this horrible painting in the back of my van. Yep, and it's selection day, so we ought to get going. What we'll do is we'll drive straight to the Royal Academy. You uh -huh. can you can jump out, dig it in, and then we'll go to the Tate Gallery for a look at the pictures. in their whiskers and pipes. They've got some good pictures down there. And um, um, the Royal Academy started as an um, art school and a club, an old boys club for established artists. But um, it's moved on from there, it's still that, but it's now it's a repository for the nation's art, a bit like this place. That painting by me is by Francis Bacon and a lot of people think it's pretty horrible, a bit like my picture, but that's given a lot of pleasure to quite a few people over the years and even if you added up all that pleasure, it's a huge amount of good that it's done and if I could, um, with my pictures, do give even just a tiny bit of pleasure to a few people, I would feel that I'd, um, I feel that I've done well. And if we can push motor neuron disease awareness forward at the same time, I'd be even more pleased. Ben, you are a disgrace to the caring profession. Get out of my wheelchair. So what's your painting about then? The, the Royal Academy one? Yeah. Um, it's called The Anatomy of Loss. Is, um, I wanted to paint a picture about losing someone near to you. Um, when I painted it, my mum had fairly recently died and uh, I 
I used to carry a picture, well I still do, picture around in my wallet. When I looked at that picture, it used to rip me right up. But, you know, someone else looking at it would just be a picture of a woman. So I wanted to paint a picture that would convey that utter devastation of losing someone near to you. The picture is of a pair of conjoined twin brothers and one of them's just woken up to find that the other one has killed himself in the night. I wanted to get that across, that utter devastation really. And um, well I hoped, I hope I did it. You know, do you think it'll get in then? Well, who knows, there might still be pipes and whiskers up there. We shall see.